Prosecutors say Hawaii is safer with the destruction of the Miski organized crime enterprise, but his attorney says he will appeal the convictions. Our Daryl Huff continues our team coverage. Today's verdict by the jury that Miski should forfeit almost all of his personal and business assets comes after seven months of work for this jury and also gave us the first chance to hear from the attorneys in the case. Unfortunately, it's going to be just me today. Assistant U.S. Attorney Ken Sorensen spoke for the three prosecutors who actually presented the case, who'd avoided the public eye throughout the trial. We share with, I think, everybody in the community uh, the, a sense of relief that this scourge on our community has been brought to justice. This is a target that needed to be brought down. This was the source of so much criminal activity. Sorensen pointed out that in all, the case led to conviction of 13 people he called hardened criminals involved in drug trafficking, extortion, assaults, murder plots, illegal fireworks, and corruption. When you take those 13 individuals out of this community, and by the way, several others that we haven't mentioned, um, obviously this community is much better off. Mr. Kennedy, can you yep. But Miski's attorney pointed out where he claimed there were holes in the government case. Mr. Miski was acquitted of drug trafficking. He was acquitted of bank fraud. He was acquitted of an attempt to murder. He was acquitted of a use of a gun during in relation to that attempt murder. And most importantly, he was acquitted of a murder for hire involving Jonathan Frazier. The jury did convict Miski of kidnapping and murdering Frazier, who he blamed for the traffic death of his son, Caleb. The jury apparently believed the testimony of career criminal Wayne Miller, who said Miski hinted he'd killed Frazier himself. The defense hoped the jury wouldn't believe Miller, one of several criminals given plea agreements. With Wayne Miller, obviously, uh, they credited a lot of his testimony. He was an incredibly important witness. I have a different opinion on the other accounts, but I do respect the jury and their work in this case, but we will go forward with fighting for Mike. Thank you very much. What do you say your, most, your, your strongest point of appeal is? Prosecutors say they're not concerned about an appeal. But we do credit the jury. They were incredibly discerning in this case. They looked into the evidence very closely. Uh, they distinguished between the various charges uh, very, very well. Miski will return to this courthouse on November 26th for sentencing, but there's very little doubt that he will be spending the rest of his life in prison. Reporting from Federal Court, Daryl Huff, Hawaii News Now.